Yes, sir. Thank you so much. What's going on? Entering just after Barry Heads or Avenue, the M1 southbound is slow between Grayston Drive and the Joe Slope Drive off ramp. And lastly, if you are getting out of Lowe's, that are often not, that are generally, you know, of an inferior quality and are not even up to South African regulations. All right. We'll take more of your reactions and your thoughts. The following support services are available. Discounts are great on flights, accommodation, car hire, security services, and more. Please contact your local Airtel agent for details. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah, we're currently at Scent Lab. Uh, my brother and my mother are just buying some fragrances. And then we're, I think we're going to go to my mom's like, work. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do afterwards. It's, oh, my mom said we're going to Santon. I think, yeah, that's, that's the plan. We're supposed to go to Santon. I'm not sure what we're going to do. And then on our way back home, we're going to go to Chamdo, which is like a fiber arts um like it's just a big it's like a hypermarket so they sell yarn they sell um fabrics and like knitting stuff sewing things you know all of that jazz is that is that the correct all of that jazz yeah they just they just sell like a lot of things that have to do with like sewing and knitting and crocheting i am looking for some yarn so yeah, I'm just basically I'm just going to look at the things that they have I might also buy but I'm trying to like um, see what type of yarns they have so that I can take orders for some people my aunt asked me to make a blanket for her so I'm also looking for the type of yarn that she wants and if I find it I'll probably buy it because I can't find it anywhere else except for on online so Y'all, yeah, that's the plan. I'm currently crocheting a... Well, I'm not sure actually what I want to make. But I'm making Star Granny squares. I don't know if I should make a tote bag with them. Or if I should make a scarf. Like connect them and make a scarf. I don't know. I'm still deciding. So right now I'm just busy making the stars. They are purple. Where is... Where are the stars? Okay, they're not really flat, but like, these are five-pointed stars. I actually really like this color. This was the color, this was the um, wool that I bought. When did I buy it? I think I bought it in the previous vlog. I think I showed you guys. Um, so yeah, I finally found like something to make with it because I remember when I filmed the previous vlog i was not sure what i wanted to but or what i wanted to make with the yarn but like now i know and actually i don't fully know but i know that i want to make star grain squares okay. so we're about to leave now as you can see mom just opened the boot um we're gonna leave oh, no, i will talk okay. to you guys later toodles toodles goodbye Hi, my dad. I need a land. That's a young girl. Hey guys. So, why did I say that so loudly though? I feel like I was too loud. But I've collected my ID. Should I show you guys? I just want to show you guys my picture. Picture, guys. The girl finally has an ID. I feel so, so like so old now. Like when I was younger, like if if I see someone with an ID, like in my mind I'm like this person is an adult. They're big, you know. Like now I'm at that stage where I'm old enough to have an ID. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Like sometimes I. Like, I find it hard to believe that I'm actually at this age and I'm, like, in grade 12. Like, yo, I always saw people who were in grade 12, I was like, old. I'm like, oh my gosh, these people are old. You know, like, you just, not necessarily that I would put them on a 
podium or whatever but i always just saw them as like old and now i'm, I'm there i'm there now like yo wow like god has carried me through man like wow well, i'm just stunned literally i'm just stunned i'm stunned Hey guys, so we have arrived at Chambo. Um, haven't really found what I'm looking for, but I'm still like I'm still looking around. I'm looking for blanket yarn. Let me see. Before I go to bed, I just wanted to show you guys what I bought at Chamdo. So I have this crochet hook. This is let's see, 20 millimeters, and it was 84 and 95 cents. And then for my yarn, I bought this chunky yarn. I bought four. Is it four, five, one, two, three, four balls for three hundred and sixty-nine rands ninety-five cents. So basically three hundred and seventy rand. Um so yeah, that's what I bought. I didn't buy much, those are the only two things that I bought for myself and then my mom and my brother bought other things. But yeah, I think I do want to go back to Chamdo. Well I don't think so, I do want to go back because um their selection of yarn is like more like there's more options than the yarn shop that i usually go to so i need to save up money so that i can just go to chamdo and buy all the different yarns that they that they don't sell at my local yarn store you know like they have the charity which i'm always showing you guys the charity chunky yarn and the double knit which i always have why is it so dark now i'm so sorry but yeah charity is always available at most yarn stores but like at chamdo they have other brands like different types of yarns they have more selection of like 
um, crochet hooks and um, what do you call them? Knitting needles. I want to buy uh, what do they call them? Circular knitting needles. But I still need to learn how to use, like. I th I, feel, I just want to like finish some of the crochet projects that I have now, and then I'll learn how to use um, circular needles. So I just I don't know what I want to make. Like maybe I can make a sweater or something like that. Yeah, I just want to start learning how to knit in the round because now I can knit like row by row, you know. But I can't knit in the round. I'll still learn. But yeah, that's just my little update for now. I am going to bed. I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I'm not really sure about that though because in the morning I have my music lesson at 9 o'clock and until 12, I think. And then after that at 1... I have a youth service which is also at church so yeah and the youth you oh my gosh the youth service is supposed to end at three so I'll probably be back at home at around half past three so yeah I don't know when I'm going to see you guys but for now goodbye I'll see you when I see you Good morning world, welcome back to <coughs> what's happening with my voice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Good morning world, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new episode of Matric Diaries. Into this episode or entry, I'm going to try and form for the whole week. So like I'm trying to do a week in my life. Um the reason why I say I'm trying is because most of the time I do the same thing every day. So, like, there's only so much that I can show you guys, you know. So, yeah, this week I'm going to try and not bombard you with the same thing every day. Now, today is Monday. The What's the day today? It's the 26th of February. It's currently... 11.02 Can you guys see that? It's currently 11.02 And we have load shedding We've had load shedding since 10 o'clock So I couldn't start doing my work After like getting ready for school Because there's no internet Um, Yeah there's no wifi So can't like use my I can use my laptop but like I can't access the internet and my work's on the internet so sure and I have like assessments that I need to do so yeah I need to finish an assessment from last week it's for physics I already started with it I just need to actually like start making proper progress and finish it I'm trying to finish it by the end of today and then yeah, I have like other assignments and things I need to do. But my main focus for today is the physics assignment. done with my study timetable I've already written down like the test that I'm going to be writing and on which day I'm gonna be writing them and then in order to space out like my study times I'm going to be using the 2357 method so basically the 235 method is a method that you use to plot when you're going to study specific subjects um, so for example, if I'm going to be writing, if I was writing like biology today, I would have scheduled like a study day, two days before the test and then three days before the test and five days before the test and seven days before the test. So basically I'll have four study sessions before each 
subject yeah 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 i think i've explained it properly actually five because you start so the day before the exam or the test you plot that day as a revision day then you count two days before that revision day three days before that revision day five days before that revision day and seven days before the revision day so you have five um sessions to study and yeah it doesn't really tell you how long you have to study that is more dependent on you and how much you understand the subject and basically yeah that the amount of time that you study is dependent on you but it gives you a clear idea on when you're going to study you know and then you will decide that okay um if i'm supposed to study physics then i want to study two hours in that session or three hours it's dependent on you so that is what i am going to be doing right now this is what i have so far i wrote basically have the calendar here or like not necessarily the calendar but i just have the last remaining days of february and then i also wrote down um the first 20 days of march because that's when i'm going to be writing yeah i'm not gonna write like the whole calendar for march so yeah um i'm going to start plotting each day i don't know if i should color code each subject or if i should just write it in black but i feel like if i color code i'll actually see that okay i have a lot of red i have a lot of green i have a lot of blue you know like so i think that's what i'm going to do because i also like color you know i want to make this quite fun or like you know pleasing to my eyes i want to make it nice and aesthetic because i've never used this method before as i said earlier on usually i would study subjects based on how i feel or like even more closely to the day of the test and i don't want to do that now i feel like using the 235 method will also help me with like spaced repetition you know instead of trying to cram everything like two days before a test and then when you're at the test you don't remember much you know which is bad because then i'm gonna fail and i don't want that to happen so i'm going to pick seven colors even though i am writing six subjects but for cat um there's a practical test and then there's a theory test so yeah i'll be using two different colors for those types for those for that subject Ugh. so let's start so i'm going to start with biology because the last um exam that i have or test rather sorry okay so the day before the day before i will bio revision bio revision right and then one two days and it's bio revision and one two three that was three so five one two three four five and one two three four five six seven okay am i doing this correctly i think i've done this correctly okay i'm gonna move on to english now
Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Let me switch off my lights. I think it can. Okay guys, so I'm not sure what time it is right now, but then after making my study timetable, I basically like time blocked my week and the following weeks, but then like I'm mostly focused on this week because you know I need to adjust sometimes and things like that, so I only make sure that this week's time blocking is like good and then next week i'll focus on next week's time blocking but yeah that's what i did uh, my camera was charging that's why i couldn't film it but i think well i i screen recorded everything so yeah basically i just put down all the activities that i do during the week and then i gave them like time blocks and said like okay i want to wake up at this time so like maybe for, I want to wake up I want to start waking up at 6 usually I wake up at 8 so I've adjusted that I don't know how that's going to go but then I'm planning on waking up earlier and sleeping earlier so it should work I think uh, maybe for the first few days I'm just going to struggle with adjusting to it but once I'm used to it I'll be fine because I've changed like now I wake up at 8 but I used to wake up at 10 so i can make i can make that change you know but yeah um i haven't eaten breakfast and it's currently lunch time why am i so bright okay i'm so sorry about that i just feel like it's too bright but yeah i haven't eaten breakfast i'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then i actually need to start with my physics or like rather let me say continue because i did start with it um yeah i need to finish my physics assignment so that I can either do another assignment or study those are my options for the rest of today and it's currently raining right now like the rain is so soothing it's in Vula like go and sleep that's what the rain is telling me but I can't sleep right now Does this look too much? It's not even that cold outside. Rise and shine. Hi guys, we're currently at the mall with my brother. We're looking for a place with plugs. We went to Mug and Bean, couldn't find it. It was too full, so we're gonna we're gonna we're going to Spur now to check. Yeah. Oh, and we're only here because Uram. Uram. Oh yeah, what I was saying was we're only here because there's load shedding. And my dad needs to like use the internet, like get access to the internet. So we decided to just go with him. Yeah. Yeah. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. There's also no electricity here at the mall, so I don't know how we're gonna connect. 
I mean, I hope the Wi-Fi works. The generators are on, so... Yeah. Or else you had to miss me. I